All right, so we're gonna scrape the product information from Depop. So as per what we normally do, like our workflow, I gotta come up with a better name for what it is that we do every single time. Pattern, I don't know. So we're gonna refresh the page, look to see if we can even get any fetch XHR requests. None are really standing out of um, what it could be it. So, oh, Pixies. Dickies, uh, that is quite a lot of information then. It looks like we're just getting, oh crap, the HTML. And we wanna see if we can do one better than that. Um, let's just double check by searching for this description. Yeah, it looks like that's just the HTML, which we can do better than that. Or we're gonna try to do better than that and get and use their actual API that they use, their private API. So usually if you click on an item and also a good trick is to install the React developer tools Chrome extension, because you can see if they're using React and they are. So chances are they're going to make some sort of fetch request when we click on this. So clear everything out. And actually we just want to filter by fetch XHR. Click on that and then boom. So we have some things here. And if we preview, hmm, oh, that's navigation tree. But yeah, this is looking pretty good. So Dickie's blue work pants, which we just searched for that right there. So it's got color, like is kids, address of the shipper or the seller. And you even have seller details as well. Like you even have his first name, his, the ID of the seller, item sold, last seen, his ratings, verified username, like probably stuff they don't necessarily want to uh, disclose his first name. I don't think that's anywhere here. I mean, it is like, yeah, right there, but, uh, but still. And this, the name is weird because if we search for this again, like if we search in the response, but it's not in the response. So I'm guessing that the name, they might just say like, oh, this is the brand category and then blue jeans like is that anywhere yeah that's not anywhere either so we get everything else though like even if we wanted the price yeah price amount so we get everything except the title which um i don't know we can find that yeah if you wanted to scrape the html you could do that just for the title but anyway so what we're going to do is copy is node fetch and then make sure you have, um, stop it. Yeah, node fetch in um, or installed. And then we're going to just await fetch, paste that, and then data log, and then run that. And we get an error, which is lame. So invalid, like response. So let's see what the actual res is, the response. So, okay, status 304. And if we Google that here, like uh, 304 response code, then um, it is an implicit redirection to a cached resource. So that's kind of weird. Um, it says that it's just cached. So that's not the end of the world. Like that's, that seems like it's pretty easy to get around. It's like, oh, you know, it's cached. So I'm just gonna try to get rid of these headers and see, cause it's not saying that we're blocked or anything. And boom, there we go. So that's all the information there. And yeah, I'm not sure where the name is, but whatever, no big deal. And then yeah, you just key into everything and then that's it. And then if we want to test this, it looks like they are just using the URL to get this. So in this case, this is the same as that. So let's just um, name that URL. I know it's not the URL yet. Get rid of this of URL. And then let's see if this works again. Sweet. Let's try to get something else. Let's try to get these 
the shoes. Looks like it. Um, seller. Username, shitty teeth. Yep, I think that is it. Description, New Balance, 990 Suede or whatever. Yeah, New Balance, 990 Suede. Price is $70. $70? For these shoes? Are you kidding me? <laughs> these are such a piece of crap. They look like they're super used. Um, so yeah, if we, let's try men's trainers. I don't think I can search here very easy. Men's, yeah, trainers. I'm not exactly sure why. Yeah, I think what happens is they take like the name, like the brand, but they don't have New Balance there. I have no idea. Yeah, you can see his first name is Chris. That's funny. Not his last name. But yeah, that's why you always want to try to get the API, like access their APIs, because you have, one, it's already structured, so it's so much easier. And then two, you get a lot more data than from just what's on the HTML. So you kind of get the hidden stuff. And then address, which is just the city. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure why it's not given us and then the pictures, status, the name, but you get everything else, so that's pretty good. If you want to get the name, um, you know, follow the same steps as before, and then if you need to fetch the HTML, then you can just do that. So anyway, that's it.